Computer systems for the blind and visually impaired that are equipped with screen readers and screen magnifiers. And so I had, while I was at WCIL, I had learned a bit about uh, hardware and software configuration and was learning about the assistive technology and so uh, was helping blind people in the community on a volunteer basis and the word got around and so when I talked to Sweetman's, uh, they said, hey, you know, we've heard about you, we, we'd like to bring you on as a, as a contractor doing uh, technical work for us and putting together systems. So I started doing that and they became part of uh, another assistive technology outfit in 99 called Accessibility, which then got bought out by Pulse Data in uh, 2001. It got bought out by Humanware in 2002 or thereabouts, and then uh, decided to close up shop in LA. And in 2003, I was approached by the Department of Rehab and uh, the director of a training center out in Whittier, California, uh, called the Inner Community Blind Center and was asked to run the training program over there. And so uh, I had about oh, almost a three and a half year run there, uh, running their training program and then um, took some time off, did some in independent consulting and then uh, contract, uh, contacted the other instructor, Bruce Johnson, who uh, works here. Uh, he's out on medical leave right now. But uh, anyhow, uh, came in to help him out while he was gone, and then after he came back, uh, it was decided that they needed another person to assist with the program, and uh, so I stayed on. I came in. I came in in June 2007, I guess it was. Yeah, and uh, so as time went on, they just kept giving me more stuff to do and eventually I ended up uh, running the program here. So that's my story in a nutshell. Are you blind from birth? Oh yeah. yeah. Um, 100%? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you've never seen? Oh no. no. For, all, for, all practical, for all practical purposes, no. I have not. Uh, I was one of those premature babies who back in the mid-50s uh, uh, was placed in an incubator with pure oxygen, and they didn't know that pure oxygen was very harmful to eye tissue. And so uh, it was just one of those fluky things. And uh, so um, I guess you know, shortly after I was born, it was discovered that I didn't have any vision, and probably never would. I had uh, detached retinas and glaucoma and kind of the double whammy. And uh, so that's that. And, uh, how how many weeks were you when you were born? You said you were premature, so were you like seven months in the womb? Or? Um, somewhere between six and seven. I was in a hell of a hurry. Yeah. I said it's time to get out here and check it out. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. What percentage, approximately, of otherwise fully able, completely blind people are able to work? Well, sadly, the unemployment uh, figures, as I have heard lately, I think, are somewhere in the ballpark of 85%. Uh, um, That's terrible. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with, uh, you know, it's a difficult market out there for, for anybody. And then if you have a disability on top of it, it's it's uh, that much more difficult. And uh, we as blind people uh, really need to sort of get out and educate people as to our various capabilities and, and uh, really sell ourselves. That's, uh, that's what we need to do. And uh, I think over time, as, as more of us do that sort of thing, then uh, we may find that those percentages go down. I certainly hope so. Now, most of your work has not been in like a special section for blind people. It's been out there in the regular world. Remember this list? 
Say again? Like when you were working at IBM for 16 years, I assume you weren't in a special section for blind people. Oh, no. At absolutely. IBM, you were like right there in the mix. Oh, yeah. I was in a, in a programming shop that was uh, specifically devoted to <coughs> working with the, uh, the marketing guys. And so, no, I was um, the only blind guy in the whole bunch. And there were probably close to 100 people on staff at the time. So, uh, Do you find in, in your work experience uh, most people are able to relate to you as who you are, or are there like certain stereotypical responses that you encounter in the world? Um, I... Yeah, I, uh, I've found that uh, that most people have been able to accept that, and those who do have uh, some reservations about dealing with a blind person, after they get to know me, they'll, those will go away. So I'm just an ordinary guy like anybody else, and I don't give them any reason to think otherwise. You know, try to provide a, a good example of what uh, what I think they should see. So your productivity was the same as, or close to the same as uh, your sighted peers with, with similar skills? Well, I'd like to think so. I worked my way up through the ranks just like anybody else did. I started out as a junior programmer and was and was uh, a staff programmer when I left. So that's nothing to sneeze at. What what have been the principal obstacles you faced in the in the work world? Um. Well, I think, you know, one of the things that I uh, ran into more often than not was just difficulties of getting access to things uh, in print. Uh, print was always an issue. Uh, and being able to get it in some sort of alternate format uh, that I could work with. Uh, fortunately, the Opticon solved that, and then... Uh, as far as listings that I would get on the computer, I could always uh, send a, a job down to the machine room uh, downstairs and run, run the files through a Braille embosser and, uh, and get uh, materials converted to Braille. So that's that. If I had to you know, think of one of the major obstacles, that would be it. Mm -hmm. How many of the people that you work with have been able to get into the work world? Well, um, ideally, we would like everyone to uh, to join the workforce or rejoin the workforce. Um, some of us are going to be ready to do that. Some won't be. Um, I can't give you exact numbers. Uh, at, uh, just off the top of my head, uh, I do know that, that some people, uh, if they haven't already found something, are in the process of, of developing ideas for their own business. Uh, so that's happening. And then some people are pursuing uh, some sort of you know post-secondary education. They're going to college or, or going to some sort of uh, trade school or uh, to develop other skills. So that's what we are designed to do. We're, uh, to, to, at least that's what my program is designed to do, is to provide the skills necessary to either produce, uh, re, uh, to join or rejoin the workforce or to pursue uh, post-secondary education. Mm -hmm. How independent of you, uh, how much help do you need to get, to get through an ordinary day? You're just on your way, on your own. Um, I'd like to think that I am fairly independent. Um, I'm a good uh, cane traveler, so mobility is not an issue. Uh, of course, the commute is fairly, fairly long, so I use a paratransit surface. But uh, you know, if that didn't work out, I could uh, certainly hop a bus and get around. Uh, no problem. Been there, done that, plenty of times. So. 
So that works out okay as far as the uh, actual